In today's video, I'll be showing you how to blur parts of your screen to hide sensitive information such as street addresses, email addresses, passwords, or any other information you don't want a viewer to see. Tap the plus sign to start a new project and add your video clip. For this tutorial, I'm using a clip that was screen recorded on an iPad using a piece of software called Prism Live Studio, which is a piece of software that allows you to screen record on your device while streaming it to your YouTube channel or other streaming service. Select a clip and then tap on add. Once the clip is added to the project, you'll notice that there is a logo that says Prism Live Studio in the corner of the screen recording. You can turn this off, however I forgot. Rather than re-record the tutorial or crop the video, neither of which will work in this case because I want the whole iPad screen to be visible, I can blur out the Prism Live Studio logo before I upload it to YouTube. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is tap on effects, then video effects, and tap on basic and choose blur. Right here. If you tap on the check mark, and tap on the check mark once more, notice that the entire video layer has been blurred out. To blur out a section of a video layer, you have to add an overlay. Tap on overlay, then add overlay, and choose the same clip. You're looking for the clip that will say imported. Make sure your overlay clip, the one below the main clip, covers the entire screen. Then select the overlay clip like this, swipe over, and look for the edit option. The one that looks like a square, not the one that looks like a pair of scissors. If you tap on crop, you'll be able to crop your overlay layer. You can choose the presets from the bottom or move the crop handles freehand like this. Just move the crop handles like this so that the logo is surrounded. This may take some time to get just right. When you tap on the check mark after you're done, you'll notice that the crop layer is bigger than the main layer. To fix this, just pinch and zoom to shrink the overlay layer down and move it into position over top of the logo that appears in the main video. This will allow you to cover up the logo. Once your logo is in place and completely covered, tap on effects once more, choose video effects, and then apply your blur effect. First, scrub to the end of your video to make sure that both clips line up properly, because if you don't, the blurred section may become visible at some point in your video. As you can see, both clips line up properly. Don't forget to remove the default CapCut end screen by selecting it and deleting it. Then scrub back to the beginning of your video. This is important because when you apply an effect, the effect is placed at the location of the playhead. So if I would have applied it at the end of the video, it would not work properly. To apply the effect, tap on effects, then video effects. Tap on basic and choose blur. It should be right next to shake. To apply the effect, tap on it. It may look like nothing has happened. What you need to do is close the adjustment window, go back to the effects bar, tap on it, choose object, and instead of the video layer, choose overlay. Then you will see the blur applied properly. The next step is to long press on the end of the effects bar, slide your finger down to the bottom corner, and pull the effects bar out, making it the length of the entire video. Go ahead and export the video out. Once you've exported your final video, notice the logo has been blurred out. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video.
Join me next time. Thank you.